Let's see what the damage is. How about your name? Can you tell me your name? Hey guys, this is the Beastly Playback, and today I'm going to show you how to find the Daedric Artifact Sanguine's Rose in The Elder Scrolls V Skyrim. The first thing you're going to want to do is come to the Bannered Mare, which, as I can show you now, is in Whiterun. You need to be level 14 at least to start this quest. Once you're inside the Bannered Mare, you'll see that Come by the in. stall there Let is a man in robes a who you need to talk to. If you're looking for a challenge, you've come to the right place. So accept his offer for a drinking contest. Ha! We'll see about that. This is a special brew. Very strong stuff. Let's get started. I'll start round one. Down the hatch. You need to accept the drink at every opportunity, otherwise you'll fail. I'm not sure what happens if you do. Maybe you can come back later. Your turn. One down, my friend. One down. All right. And another one for me. And how about you? So says you. I think I've hit my limit on these things. Tell you. Wow. You've really done it. The staff is yours. You know, you're a fun person to drink with. I know this great little place where the wine flows like water. We should head there. Hey, you don't look so good. Wake up. That's right. It's time to wake up, you drunken blasphemer. So you just need to go through the conversation with yes, this priestess. Yes, your head hurts and you don't remember where you are. I'm guessing you also don't remember coming in here and blathering incoherently about marriage or a goat. Which means you don't remember losing your temper and throwing trash all over the temple. So you can persuade her or bribe her. Well, you were deep in your cups. You were ranting, but most of it was slurred. You said something about Rorikstead. And that will mean that you don't have to do the next bit, which I give a brief attempt at, but, I'm sorry, but fail in the end. Closed. You can receive your blessing if you wish, but the other sisters are in seclusion. So, in there somewhere is a notice that tells you what items you need to find to fix the staff, and the location you need to travel to, if you can't find out from her. So now I'm going to fast travel to Rorikstead. I haven't actually been there before, but I'm just going to cut to my arrival. Now this is where my recording software started to go a bit glitchy, so at random points I'm going to have to jump from place to place, but uh, it shouldn't have that big an effect on your ability you, to follow the instructions. You've got a lot of nerve showing yourself in this town again. What do you have to say for yourself? Sorry's not good enough, not while my Gled is still out there alone and afraid. You kidnapped her and... You're damn right it does. I'll never breed another pr And don't you think of coming... Right, so, you can either persuade him, bribe him, again like, bef like with the priest, or you can head down the road and recover his goat. If you have a follower with you, then you're going to need to kill the giant, as the offended giant will go after your follower. I'll probably kill him anyway, but... If you go on your own, you can just run away, and the goats will follow. Now, in a couple seconds, the recording software is going to go weird again, and I'm going to rejoin you at the video back at the farmer when I return the goat. But you literally just run up to it, talk to it, and it will follow you back. And there we go. So you just want to talk to him? You talk to Raldith yet? You hear from the city? I visit Gladder. I'm I still can't figure out why you stole her. You left a note explaining it, but half only bit I could make out was repaying Isolde in White Run, and even that's mostly scribbles. Guess you could try there. So obviously the next move is to head over to White Run. Rorik's 
when you when you talk to your Zolda, you're going to have to either bribe her for two thousand gold, persuade her, or retrieve the item you owe her. So you're finally back. Look, I've been patient, but you still owe me. It's not about the money, really. I wouldn't have given you the wedding ring on credit if you weren't so obviously in love. But if there isn't going to be a wedding, the least you can do is give the ring back. That was one of my best pieces. You went right out to give it to your fiancé. Don't you even remember where you left her? And after you told me that sweet story of how you met in Witchmist Grove, I can see why she left you. Okay, so either now you need to bribe or persuade her, or go and get the ring from which Miss Grove. You must have had a wild night if you can't remember that. But I suppose everyone gets the jitters before their wedding. And I did say you could take a bit of time paying me back. You said the ceremony was going to be at Morvenskar. Don't forget you still owe me. So Morvenskar is near Windhelm, Farewell. and unless you've been actually to Morvenskar before and can fast travel directly there, you want to head to the stables, because you can pick up a horse, which is very useful for getting there. Now, you'll probably want to buy the horse, but I have a very powerful sneak enchantment, so I can just steal it in plain sight. So, even though they did tell me hands off, there is no fee, no fine, sorry, added for stealing it. Anyway, you just want to head across the bridge. And when you find a slope that's less than 80 degrees, you're going to want to climb directly up that on your horse. Which is the main reason you want one, so that you can do that. You can't climb this on foot. You have to take the path around, which is inconvenient. Now, once I reach the top of this slope, I'm going to have to cut again to inside the fort because, as I said earlier, my recording software is jittery. Okay, so once you're inside, there are two mages in that room to the side, and I'm going to have to kill them, but again, the recording software went weird. So I have killed them. And I'm just checking the other side room. And then you just head down these stairs. And in a couple seconds we'll have the last jump in this video. And it should come up when I equip my torch. These mages are very powerful, and it's likely that when you come in here you'll die, unless you're very careful. So you don't need to go any further into the ruin, just once you've wiped out the mages in this area, climb up here, and a portal will appear. So now we're in Sanguine's realm, and personally I'm hoping this is where one of the DLCs goes, because I think it's the next best thing to the Shivering Isles. But um, you just want to head down the path to the wedding, and you'll be given the staff. You're here. I was beginning to think you might not make it. You're here beginning to think you might not make it. I thought you might not remember your first trip here. You had a big night. I think you've definitely earned the staff. Oh, the Hagraven feather and so on. You can throw all those out. You see... I really just needed something to encourage you to go out into the world and spread merriment. And you did just that. I haven't been so entertained in at least a hundred years. Just a prank? Just a prank? 
The Daedric Lord of Debauchery does not deal in mere pranks. This may have begun as a minor amusement, but it wasn't long before I realized you'd make a more interesting bearer of my not-quite-holy staff. Let's be honest here. I don't always think my decisions through. But you, you're going places. Maybe a little influence from your old Uncle Sanguine could help adjust your course a bit. My pleasure. But I think it's time for you to go. No fun keeping you locked up in here with the staff. So you'll be teleported back to the Bannered Mayor. And now I'm going to quickly display the power of the staff. The staff summons a leveled Dramora for 60 seconds if you have no conjuration perks and 120 if you have the double endurance conjuration perk. At level 37 you will be summoning Martinaz Dramora, which are the second most powerful, the strongest being Valkenaz. I'll soon have videos up on how to get Azura Star and or the Black Star. These should be up within the next week, if not earlier. And um, well, I hope this has been useful, and thanks for watching.